Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Murphy from the Upton Town Library. Welcome to today's preschool story time about numbers. We're going to do some counting and some songs with numbers and a special number craft at the end. So let's get started with our welcome song. If you're ready for a story, here we go. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. All right, well done everybody. Let's do a couple book talks with some books that have counting. And at the Upton Town Library, our books about counting have these special numbers on them. Can you see the one, two, three, four, five right there? All of our picture books that have to do with numbers and counting have those one, two, three, four, five stickers. So you'll know they're counting books. This one is called Over on the Farm, A Counting Picture Book Rhyme by Christopher Gunson show you that nice and close. So we're going to see some farm animals and we might do some counting today. Let me show you a little bit about our book. This is published by Scholastic Press and it's going to take place on a farm. There's that red barn, just one. We'll look at a few pages and then we'll do another book talk. So this is a story you can either read or sing because it goes to a certain tune you might know. Over on the farm in the early morning sun lived a clever mother cat and her little cat won. Stretch, said the mother. I stretch, said the one. So he stretched and felt warm in the early morning sun. Do you recognize that tune? goes to the tune over in the meadow, but we're doing over in the farm. Over in the field in the green and the blue lived a woolly mother sheep and her little sheep too. Leap, said the mother, we leap, said the two. So they both leapt together in the green and the blue. I love stories that we can sing like this. This is a great one. Then you can count each picture. Let's see how it ends. Oh, it ends with a pig. Over on the farm in a warm, muddy pen lived a kind mother pig and her little piggies ten. Look at all those piggies. Snuggle, said the mother. We snuggle, said the ten. So they snuggled and they slept in their warm, muddy pen. Here they are. And then the very last page gives you all the animals and you can count them again from one to ten. So that's Over on the Farm, and this is by Christopher Gunson. So this is a book you can always request from our library. The other one I'd like to share is one of my favorites. It's an older book. It's called 1098 by Molly Bang, and it's, again, a counting book. So it's got those that number sticker on the side, so you'll know it's a counting book. And this book is published by Greenwell... Green Willow Books, and there's the child and the dad getting ready for bed. And they're going to do some counting down in this story. So they start with the number 10. What do you think the 10 is for? Can you tell? Maybe 10 toes? It says 10 small toes, all washed and warm. And you could count each toe. See if you can count to 10. Then we're going to count backwards. 10, then 9. Nine soft friends in a quiet room. You could count all nine of those stuffies. So it's going to count all the way down. 10 to 1. And the 1 is one big girl all ready for bed. And there she is with her, her teddy bear and a nightgown, a yellow nightgown. And there it is. So 1098 is one of my favorite counting backwards books. This is by Molly Bang. So those are both in the Upton Town Library. You can request those. Let's do a little good morning song. So we're going to use our puppets today. And the first one we're going to sing good morning to is our puppy. So we're going to sing good morning to puppy. Here's how it goes. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning to puppy. Good morning to you. Good morning. Let's try another friend, okay? Let's try 
This friend. Who is this friend? That's a tiger. That's right. Let's sing good morning to tiger. Here we go. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning to the tiger. Good morning to you. Good morning. Let's see who our last friend is today. Who's it going to be? Little Miss Elephant. Let's sing good morning, Miss Elephant. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning, Miss Elephant. Good morning to you. Good morning. <laughs> well done, everybody. Let's do another song, and it's a counting chant, and it's called At the Cottage Door. So for this one, we're going to count and clap, and this is how it goes. One, two, three, four. Mrs. Murphy's at the cottage door. Five, six, seven, eight. Counting cherries on her plate. You pretend you're counting. Tap your hand. Okay, so let's do Mrs. Murphy first. Ready? One, two, three, four. Mrs. Murphy's at the cottage door. Five, six, seven, eight. Counting cherries on her plate. Well done. Let's do another name. Let's do Susan. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Susan's at the cottage door. Five, six, seven, eight. Counting cherries on her plate. Let's do another name. Let's do Andrew. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Andrew's at the cottage door. Five, six, seven, eight. Counting cherries on his plate. Excellent work. You can do that with any name, and it's a fun one just to practice your counting. Here's one we all know. It's called Five Fat Peas. So get your hands ready like a pea pod, and we're going to count it and then have a big pop at the end. We'll do it two times, so follow along. Five fat peas in a pea pod pressed. One grew, two grew, so did all the rest. They grew and they grew and they did not stop. Until one day the pod went pop. Let's do it again. Ready? Get your pea pod ready. Five fat peas in a pea pod pressed. One grew, two grew, so did all the rest. They grew and they grew and they did not stop. Until one day the pod went pop. How did you make a big pop at the end? That's the best part. All right, let's get our little blackbirds ready. These are ones we know, and we're gonna count two little blackbirds sitting on a hill. Let's do it, ready? Two little blackbirds sitting on a hill. One named Jack and one named Jill. Fly away, Jack, fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack, come back, Jill. Let's do it again, and this time we're gonna say two little blackbirds flying in the sky. One named Low and one named High. Okay, here we go. Two little blackbirds flying in the sky. One named low and one named high. Fly away low, fly away high. Come back low, come back high. Let's do again. Let's do two little blackbirds sitting on the ice and their names are going to be mean, make a mean face and nice. So you make a happy face. Here we go. Two little blackbirds sitting on the ice, one named mean and one named nice. Fly away mean, fly away nice. Come back mean, come back nice. Got one more for you. Let's try them sitting on a cloud and their names are going to be quiet and loud. Okay, let's have fun with this one. Two little blackbirds sitting on a cloud. One named quiet and one named loud. Fly away quiet. Fly away loud. Come back quiet. Come back loud. Excellent job. I love being quiet and loud on that last one. Okay, for our next song, you need to have a beanie or you can do this just yourself and you can go up when we get to the part that goes up. You'll see what I mean. I'm gonna use my baby today. And this one is called the cuckoo clock. And it goes like this. 
Tick tock, tick tock. I'm a little cuckoo clock. Tick tock, tick tock. Now the time is one o'clock. Cuckoo. You go up once. So if you have a baby or a beanie, lift them one time. If it's just you, you just stand up one time. Okay, here we go. Tick tock, tick tock. I'm a little cuckoo clock. Tick tock, tick tock. Now the time is one o'clock. Cuckoo. Tick tock, tick tock. I'm a little cuckoo clock. Tick tock, tick tock. Now the time is two o'clock. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Tick tock, tick tock. I'm a little cuckoo clock. Tick tock, tick tock. Now the time is three o'clock. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. Excellent job, everyone. You can do that as many times as you want and change the time from one o'clock to three o'clock to seven o'clock, whatever you decide. Let's do one I like. It's called Let's Go Riding in an Elevator. And it goes like this. Let's go riding in an elevator, elevator, elevator. Let's go riding in an elevator. Come along with me. Let me get down. First floor, second floor, third floor, fourth floor, fifth floor. Down, 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 down. <laughs> so you stand up, you can start on the ground and go up, 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 up till we get to the fifth floor and then go all the way down. It's a lot of fun. Let's do it together. Ready? Let's go riding in an elevator, elevator, elevator. Let's go riding in an elevator. Come along with me. First floor, second floor, third floor, fourth floor, fifth floor. Down, 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 down. <laughs> Well done, everybody. Let's get out some instruments. So today I have some rhythm sticks. Now, if you don't have rhythm sticks, you could use two pencils with some kind of building blocks that make sounds when you tap them. Okay, so families help your kids find two things like this to tap together. And we're gonna start with the song, This Is The Way. And it goes like this. This is the way we tap our sticks, tap our sticks, tap our sticks. This is the way we tap our sticks so early in the morning. So you want to try to keep in rhythm with the song just like I do. Let's do it again. This is the way we tap our sticks, tap our sticks, tap our sticks. This is the way we tap our sticks so early in the morning. Now let's rub our sticks, okay? So this is the way we rub. This is the way we rub our sticks, rub our sticks, rub our sticks. This is the way we rub our sticks so early in the morning. Now we're going to try to hammer. So you could do it like that or like this. Ready? This is the way we hammer our sticks, hammer our sticks, hammer our sticks. This is the way we hammer our sticks so early in the morning. And now we're going to do drums. So like that. Here we go. You ready? This is the way we drum our sticks, drum our sticks, drum our sticks. This is the way we drum our sticks so early in the morning. You couldn't see me tapping my sticks. Could you hear them? I could too. Let's do one, two, buckle my shoe. So all you have to do is keep, keep in rhythm with Mrs. Murphy. Here we go. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Five, six, pick up sticks. Seven, eight, lay them straight. Nine, ten, a big fat hen. Kind of use them as your wings and make yourself a hen. Let's try it again. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Five, six, pick up sticks. Seven, eight, lay them straight. Nine, ten, a big fat hen. Well done, everyone. You can do that at home and get faster and faster every time. It's really tricky. We're going to try a new one today. This is called Tick Tock, and it goes like this. Tick tock, tick tock goes the clock, waiting for someone to knock, knock, knock. My, oh my, it's a cat. These are the whiskers. 
See if you can keep in rhythm with me with the sticks and let's see who the next person is or animal. Ready? Tick tock, tick tock goes the clock, waiting for someone to knock, knock, knock. My, oh my, it's a bunny. Give yourself bunny ears. Tick tock, tick tock goes the clock. Waiting for someone to knock, knock, knock. My, oh my, it's a duck. Quack, 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 quack. Tick tock, tick tock goes the clock. Waiting for someone to knock, knock, knock. My, oh my, it's a walrus. Give yourself big walrus teeth. You got one more. Tick tock, tick tock goes the clock, waiting for someone to knock, knock, knock. My, oh my, it's a, an alien. Beep, 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 beep. Did you give yourself antenna? Well done. Let's put our sticks away and we're gonna do a little stretching and breathing. So stretch all the way up, all the way to your left all the way to your right, up again, and down. Give yourself a deep breath in, and out, in, and out. And let's do a little twinkle twinkle. Get your twinkling stars ready. Here we go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Excellent job for story time today. Would you like to see our special number craft? Here we go. Let me show you. It is a painting project that looks like this. And can you see what numbers I did today? Let's let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. I bet you can do that. So today's craft, you need a couple things. Let me show you. You're going to need paper. Now what I used is some special painting paper. This is mixed media. It's good for when you're painting, your, your picture won't curl up very much. So it's just good for drawing and painting. And it looks like this. You are going to need some painter's tape. So if your family does some painting, or maybe you know someone that has this, this is great for crafts because you can put it on painting paper um, for a very short amount of time and then peel it off and it doesn't damage your paper. So this is painter's tape. You're going to need paint, of course. So I have my set of paints right here. Watercolors work, paints, um, Tempera paint, if you don't have that, markers or crayons would work well too. Um, it's going to give you the same results and you're going to need some paint brushes. So the first thing you'll need to do is make your numbers. So I, this is something your families can do with you and you take your tape and you're going to make the numbers on the paper. Some of them are easy, like numbers one and four. Those are easy, they're straight lines. The other numbers are a little trickier. So families, this could be something you put together um, maybe at night when the kids are in bed and the next day they do the painting and it's a great thing to keep, to keep busy during the day. So I'm gonna tilt my screen down so you can see exactly how I have made that. All right. So I'm gonna put this down on my table so you can see. Here's my painting template. I'm gonna get my paints. So I think the first number I'll start with is one. So maybe for my number one, I'm going to use, hmm, let's use a little orange first. So I'm going to use my orange paint and I'm just going to paint out. Now, if you don't have paint, all you need to do is take your crayons or markers and kind of color around each number. So this is going to give us the number one once it's dry, 
and we get to peel the tape off. That's the exciting part. See what happens. All right. And then if you have a little cup of water, you could wash your paintbrush for a different color. I'm going to get another paintbrush. And let's see, I'm going to do the number two. And I think I'm going to use purple. Lots of purple here. All right. So that is how we do our painter's tape number craft. Let's go all the way around. It just takes quite a while to do painting, but it is a very relaxing kind of project for kids. It gives them great focus to make sure they get all around all the edges. And then it gives them some patience because they have to wait until it dries to see the fancy numbers at the end. All right, so you would continue with all of your numbers just like that. And at the end, you could peel off your numbers and you'll have this great number sign. One, two, three, four, five. So this is great to do with any numbers, um, not just the one through five. All right, so that is our number craft. If you make this craft, be sure to send us a picture. We'd love to see it. Follow us on social media, our, our uptonlibrary.org website, and keep in touch. See you next week for another story time. Bye.